Freak Show. Welcome to the show, friends. It's your oddly shaped pals who make the human number 10 when we stand next to each other. I'm Mikey. That's my best friend since Little League Baseball over there, Bob. Hi. Uh, Bob, let's just start with a message from our guy, George. Absolutely love this guy. Listens to the show all the time, and he always gets caught up with our podcast. And we were talking about giraffes on the show yesterday, so this is how we start the show today. Hey, what's going on, fellas? George here catching up on Monday's podcast. Mike, just to let you know, dude, if you try to milk a male giraffe, you ain't getting milk. Y'all take it easy. <laughs> Life lesson. I love so much from George the giraffe, man. No matter what George <laughs> sends us, the message always ends with, "All right, y'all take it easy." Y'all take it easy. It's just if you try to milk a male giraffe, yeah. you ain't getting milk. <laughs> All right. Y'all take it easy. We usually don't do this, but so far, even though this is just the very start of the show, I believe the name of the podcast today lies in George's message. If you try to milk a male giraffe, you ain't getting milk. Ain't getting milk. Y'all take it easy. All right. I don't know how we fit that in the podcast name, but if you milk a male giraffe, you ain't getting milk. It sounds like it sounds like a name of a podcast. Oh. Giraffe. You're not getting giraffe milk. You're getting something totally different. 96.1. Yes. Mikey and Bob, it is the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Oscar nominations come out today. Excited there, Bob. Uh, no, you're not, right? <laughs> not really, right? <laughs> yeah, you you know. haven't seen a lot of the movies that are nominated, though, right? Like no, Oppenheimer uh-huh. and Killers of the Flower Moon. Like, you've seen Barbie, though. Uh, Barbie, yeah. Yeah, go uh, Barbie. So today at uh, 8.30, the Oscar nominations come out on ABC, Good Morning America. They'll also be streaming online. Jimmy Kimmel will host the Oscars again. That'll be uh, March 10th on ABC. But I expect the Oscars to be a lot of Oscars will be announced today around 8.30, all the nominations. By the way, speaking of uh, the network ABC, last night, season 28 of The Bachelor premiered with the tennis player uh, Joey. He is the new Bachelor. He met 32 women last night, Mm -hmm. and that was narrowed down to 22. Mm. He kissed seven of the women in the first the first time, right? Like Start the first out, episode. Starting out hot in episode one. And I'll also learn that two of them are uh, are sisters. But, man, he's just he's trying it out, kissing seven on the, uh, the first night. By the way, uh, we don't actually watch The Bachelor or Bachelorette, but we will read Facebook comments about the new season of The Bachelor. Oh, yeah. Coming up this morning around 7.55 on the Kiss Morning Freak Show. And we have your chance to win $1,000 this morning. Try to pay your bills around 9.10. It's Mikey and Bob. Pay your bills on 96.1 Kiss. <laughs> Mikey and Bob, it's the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. It's going to be cloudy today, and we're going to see rain off and on throughout the day. Some could be freezing rain that could lead to some icy conditions, so be careful out there. High today, around uh, 40 degrees. All right, let's get to this message. Hey, guys. So I was listening to today's podcast, and you played my message from Friday, which I always love when you choose my messages to play. But my message today, oh, my God, discovered a new version of Bob's angelic laugh. Yeah, uh, we did discover a new Bob laugh uh, because Bob has a great laugh, and somebody said we need to isolate this laugh. (laughs) (laughs) It's a really good Bob laugh there. It really is. It was added to the laugh track. I am all right, so she's the one who, who wanted us to isolate that laugh, so it's now... She's that excited. Yeah, it's part of show lore now. I am now part of Yinzer Freak Show history. Yeah, it's exciting. I love you guys. Yeah, it's exciting. So that laugh has now been added to this one minute of the best Bob laughs we've uh, we've compiled over the years. <laughs> All right. <laughs>
my husband. Okay? <laughs> Mikey and Bob, podcast. Mikey and Bob, the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. You could win a trip to the Big Bonnaroo Festival in Tennessee in June. I mean, summertime, giant music festival. You've probably heard of Bonnaroo before this year. You'll see Post Malone, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Megan Thee Stallion, and more. All you have to do is go through our free iHeartRadio app, and hit the talkback microphone. Tell us why you want to go to Bonnaroo. You could win a couple tickets mm -hmm. and general admission car camping passes. So take your whole vehicle in there and have yourself a weekend of music in the summer in Tennessee for the big Bonnaroo Festival. You can get more details on how to enter and your chance to win at 961kiss.com. All right, let's get to a message from our guy, Raccoon Tim here, Bob. Haven't heard from him in a little bit here. Hey, Mikey and Big Bob. It's your boy, Raccoon Tim. I'm going to try to control my laughter on this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. But the lady that's suing Kenny Wood, yeah. potato patch fries, for getting injured and burning her hand. Yeah, so we were talking about this story uh, yesterday on the show. There's a woman who uh, got her hand. She got, like, second-degree burns yeah. from from hot cheese from fry, the fry. potato patch fries. Fried spillage. Yeah, at, uh, at Kennywood. So she's suing Kennywood because a couple of years ago she burned her hand really bad, potato patch fries. Maybe I should sue Marlboro cigarettes for the day that I got in my car and had a cigarette in between my fingers, turned the wheel, caught my shorts on fire, and burned my junk. <laughs> You should, Raccoon yeah. Tim. You absolutely yeah. should sue Marlboro <laughs> cigarettes because you burn your junk one time. Caught my junk on fire, Marlboro. <laughs> All right. A new season of The Bachelor premiered last night. We're going to read some Facebook comments about it coming up around 7.55. It's Mikey and Bob. 96 on Kids. The Mikey and Bob Podcast. Man blames bear and snakes for being naked outside. <laughs> Don't blame it on the animal. They steal his clothes. <laughs> you bear pull your pants down. Stream the Mikey and Bob podcast on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts. Mikey and Bob, it's the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Hey. Mm. NBA Bob, you see uh, Joel Embiid from the uh, 76ers drop 70 points on the Spurs. Oh, last night. wow. Don't, don't do the oh, wow thing again, man. <laughs> wow. Uh, How many, many points? 70. Oh, points. wow. His stat line last oh, night. Oh, yeah, tell me. Only him and Michael Jordan. Oh, have wow. That's what I get for trying to sprinkle some NBA talk onto the uh, onto the show. It is the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Mikey and Bob, right around 7 o'clock, it is time for Today in Freak Show History. Take you back to a moment in the show that made us laugh, made us smile, and let's take you back to my obsession with the Kelly Clarkson Wayfair commercials. Here we go. Today in Freak Show History. Watching, uh, what are we even watching? I don't even know what channel we have on, but a Wayfair commercial uh, came up. Love that jingle, man. One of the greatest it TV is jingles is going right one. now is the Wayfair jingle. Wayfair, you got just what I need. Kelly Clarkson is always on the Wayfair commercials. You ever go to the Wayfair site or their app and just read, like, you can scroll and just like, really? I didn't know I could buy this at Wayfair. <laughs> it's like incredible, but. <laughs> While we're sitting here watching the Wayfair, you got just what I need uh, commercial with Kelly Clarkson, they show um, a woman uh, talking to Kelly Clarkson, and she's in one of those uh, sauna bag seat things. Yeah. You know, that's like a box that you sit in that's like a personal sauna. And I told Bob, I've always wanted one of those. Your head's and just I, sticking out of it. And then, of course, the sauna all warms up around you, whatever. It makes what you are you going to do with that? You've not always like, wanted one of those. I have always wanted a sauna. Sit there and cook like a chicken. I yeah, I love saunas, man. But I, I say I love saunas. Have you been in a sauna before? I have been in a sauna before. Yes, I have been in a sauna before. But I don't want it. I want a personal. You want a one man yeah, bag I, sauna. I want to zip that thing and just smells like. 
<laughs> Cooked butt. <laughs> There's no way that smells good in your house. What are you gonna sit in your living room and have Fauna bag? You think it's going to stink? Oh, it's going to smell like cooked horrible. Cooked yes. butt! <laughs> cooked butt, you got just what I need. I've always wanted one of those saunas. Hey, treat man. yourself, man. Dude, the only problem is, I don't know if there's a height limit on it, because oh, I'm, good point, I'm yeah. six foot nine, so for most people, just, the, up in there. just their head might stick out. Looking butt. I might have my whole shoulder, <laughs> like I might have my shoulders sticking out of it, too. Just the bottom half in the sauna. <laughs> Heat it up. Smell <laughs> like cooked butt. Cooked butt. You got just what I need. Oh, didn't think a Kelly Clarkson Wayfair commercial was going <laughs> to take us to here. <laughs> <laughs> I am hot, sweaty, and smelling like cooked butt. <laughs> what happened on the show today? Uh, I'm not really sure. Where did it all go wrong? <laughs> Mikey and Bob, it's the 96 one Kiss Morning Freak Show. Hey, mm. NBA Bob, you see uh, Joel Embiid from the uh, 76ers dropped 70 points on the Spurs last oh, night. Oh, wow. <laughs> Don't do the oh, wow thing again, <laughs> man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, How okay. many points? 70. Oh, points. wow. His stat line last oh, night. Oh, yeah, tell me. Only him and Michael Jordan. Oh, have... wow. That's what I get for trying to sprinkle <laughs> some NBA talk onto the uh, onto the show. It is the 96 One Kiss Morning Freak Show. Mikey and Bob, right around 7 o'clock. It is time for today in Freak Show history. Take you back to a moment in the show that made us laugh, made us smile. And let's take you back to my obsession with the Kelly Clarkson Wayfair commercials. Here we go. Today in Freak Show history. Watching, uh, what are we even watching? I don't even know what channel we have on, but a Wayfair commercial uh, came up. Love that jingle, man. One of the greatest it TV good jingles going good right one. now is the Wayfair jingle. Wayfair, you got just what I need. Kelly Clarkson is always on the Wayfair commercials. You ever go to the Wayfair site or their app and just re like you can scroll and just like, really? I didn't know I could buy this at Wayfair. It's like incredible. But while we're sitting here watching the Wayfair, you got just what I need. Uh, commercial with Kelly Clarkson, they show um, a woman uh, talking to Kelly Clarkson, and she's in one of those uh, sauna bag seat things. Yeah. You know, that's like a box that you sit in that's like a personal sauna. And I told Bob, I've always wanted one of those. Your head's just sticking out of it. And then, of course, the sauna all warms up around you, whatever. It makes what you is it with that? You've not always it's wanted like, one of those. I have always wanted a sauna. Yes, and cook like a chicken? I, yeah, I love saunas, man. But I, I say I love saunas. Have you been in a sauna before? I have been in a sauna before. Yes, I have been in a sauna before, but I don't want it. I want a part of a one-man yeah, bag I, sauna. I want it. that thing and just smells like <laughs> cooked butt. <laughs> There's no way that smells good in your house. What, you sit in your living room in a sauna bag? You think it's going to stink? Oh, it does smell like cooked horrible. Cooked yes. butt! <laughs> cooked butt, you got just what I need. I've always wanted one of those saunas. Hey, treat yourself, man. Yeah, the only problem is, I don't know if there's a height limit on it, because oh, I'm, good point, I'm yeah. six foot nine, so for most people, just, it up in there. just their head might stick out. Fucking butt. I might have my whole shoulder, like I might have my shoulders sticking out of it, too. Just the bottom half in the sauna. <laughs> Heat it up. Smell like cooked butt. Cooked butt. You got just what I need. Oh, didn't think a Kelly Clarkson Wayfair commercial was going oh, to be good to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I am hot, sweaty, and smelling like cooked butt. <laughs> what happened on the show today? Uh, I'm not really sure. Where did it all go wrong? Baby, I used to be. Mikey, it is Bob, the 96 One Kiss Morning Freak Show, and we will have the world premiere of the brand new Justin Timberlake song called Selfish, officially uh, 8 a.m. Thursday morning. If you haven't heard a snippet of it yet, so if I get jealous, I can't help it. I want 
So we'll be playing that whole song all day on Thursday, starting on our show around uh, 8 a.m. here on 96.1 KISS. I don't know if you all saw this uh, photo from a uh, the hood of a police cruiser covered in Stanley Cups. Of course, when I say Stanley Cup, I'm not talking about the NHL trophy. I'm talking about the big metal cups that so many people seem to be obsessed with. Now, hell of a haul. Uh, so what happened is there was a 23-year-old woman who was arrested, and police say they found 65 stolen Stanley stainless steel cups valued at about $2,500 in her vehicle. She had 65 of the Stanley cups in her car. Unreal. Uh, they say that uh, they were responding to a uh, theft at a Target. The staff allegedly saw a woman take a shopping cart full of the Stanley water bottles without paying for them. What are you doing? You're not, aren't, like, if you're stealing, you're not just taking one or two, you're going all in a cart full? She refused to stop for staff and then stuffed her car with these stolen Stanley cups. An officer spotted the vehicle on a nearby highway. Uh, traffic stop was made, and inside they recovered 65 of the Stanley Cups in various sizes and styles valued at $2,500. I love that the police laid them out like it was a drug bust, too. <laughs> they, they, like, did. They, they did. They did. They did. Like, they did. That's what it looked like, right? They had stacks of money and whatever drugs they seized, they laid it out like that. It was it, it was in, their, like, her passenger seat had some, her trunk had some. It was like they were all over her car. So she gets pulled over, and she gets arrested for grand theft and then you're right police put the photo online of the stanley cup so it's like 65 cups show the spread that are displayed on the police car hood and oh like my the god. front bumper and stuff and look at all those oh, oh my gosh you know oh geez Every side. You're right. It's like it's like when the police make a drug bust mm -hmm. and they got like a brick of weed right. and a pile of money sitting there. Like there are people who will see that and be like, I could use that pound. Right. 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 Like, <laughs> just give me that pound. I'll do it. Go some of that. Yeah. How many office ladies are just like, where does that product go now? They can't put it back in storage, right? You know that color was out. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'll take them. I'll take them. Now I feel like there's going to be some Ocean's Eleven movie in near this uh, Sacramento police office. Don't they do auctions with, like, the seeds? Oh, oh, man. That's They're going to sell that thing as a lot. They, they do. they they got to put it in one big lot, 65 Stanley Cups, just see what happens. Uh, there's going to be, like, some Ocean's Eleven movie, though, where somebody tries to break into the evidence locker at this police place. Just, like, <laughs> they're not looking for drugs. They're not looking for money. They're not looking for anything safe in a drug where the cops? I saw that picture of them on the hood. Where them cops at? <laughs> it's uh, it's a whole thing though. And the police department posted a picture, and it said, "While the Stanley quenchers are all the rage, we strongly advise against turning to crime." To fulfill your hydration habits. So there you go. Woman gets arrested after stealing 65 of the Stanley stainless steel cups valued at $2,500. All right. The new season of The Bachelor premiered last night on ABC. It's a tennis player named Joey. You don't need to worry about that. You don't have to worry about this season or anything, but just know. Good-looking guy. Yeah. first episode, we always read the Facebook comments about it because it's, you know, mm -hmm. I'm never watching this show again. <laughs> we'll get to those coming up around 7.55. Also, we want to try to pay your bills. You could be winning $1,000 around 910. It's the Kiss Morning Freak Show. Mikey and Bob. Mikey and Bob, it's the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Be careful out there on the roads. We got some uh, rain in the area that's going to happen for a lot of the day off and on, and that could easily turn to ice with some icy road conditions. High today around 40 degrees, but be careful out there. Some roads could definitely uh, be slick. What the hell were the Penguins doing last night? Uh, Penguins lose to the Coyotes 5-2, to two, the first loss in Arizona since 2017. Not good. Another uh, wonderful goal by Sidney Crosby is 27th of the year. Uh, there was also a point where Chris Letang passed it back to Gino once Tristan Jari was pulled. Whoopsie, Letang scored in his own goal. Uh, that was more Letang's fault than Gino, right? I don't think Gino was ready for the pass, but... That was just a rock bottom moment for probably for the season. Yeah, Josh Yelly, who uh, covers the uh, Penguins and does a great job and has for years, 
uh, tweeted out, probably the worst game of the season for the Penguins. Been out skated all game. Absurd own goal. Jari didn't know where the puck was on another. Most of the blue line out to lunch all game. Only a threat to score when Sid is on the ice. Now it looks like they're giving up. So not a great report on the Penguins there from uh, Josh Yoey. They lose 5-2 to two in Arizona. First time they lost there again since 2017. That is not great, especially since... And, you know, it's very easy to be a Steeler fan, a Penguins fan, and a Pirate fan all at the same time. But, yes, a lot more eyes are on the Penguins now that the season is over. Everybody cleared out. Yeah. Not like, oh, we're watching the games now. But you're following the team probably a little bit more closely a now. Of, that a, lot the, of hockey, uh, a lot of hockey left. Yeah, there, it, we're not even at the All-Star no. break yet. Sidney Crosby already has 27 goals. What the hell's that about? Right. <laughs> is he supposed to be declining now? And like his, his older to. age? Yeah, supposed to. Uh, the Pirates also made a move yesterday, signing Araldis Chapman, a 35-year-old reliever, uh, to a one-year, $10.5 million contract. Araldis Chapman has the Guinness Book of World Record for the fastest pitch with a 105.8-mile-an-hour fastball back in 2010 that he threw. I mean, the guys played for, like, the Yankees and uh, it, the Royals and the Rangers, and he's been around for a while. Uh, he will now be I, – I would say they're probably going to use him as a reliever. He used to be, like, a closer, right. but he's diminished a little bit, so it'll be Bednar as the closer and then Araldis Chapman. Chapman will come in probably sometime before that, but he's a pretty well-known name. And some of it's not good, though, because back in 2015, Araldis Chapman was involved in alleged domestic violent incidents uh, with his girlfriend. He was accused of pushing her, putting his hands around her neck, choking her, and also fired eight gunshots. No charges were filed due to the inconsistency, mm. uh, inconsistency, inconsistency of the reports in insufficient evidence um and he denied the allegations and even though he wasn't charged or all this chapman was suspended for 30 games for the use of a firearm and the impact of that behavior on his partner he was the first player disciplined uh under the new baseball personal conduct policy back in 2015 so when you sign a player like that got a couple of records there that is also what comes along uh with it too the pirates signing 35 year old reliever or all this Chapman and hey the Steelers there's finally a name out there the Steelers are reportedly interviewing Los Angeles Rams pass game coordinator Zach Robinson okay for the offensive coordinator job this guy's 37 years old okay just completed his fifth season on the L.A. Rams staff under head coach Sean McVay. Okay. Who, a lot of people look at Sean McVay like he's a coaching prodigy, like he's a, he's a kid wizard or something like that, you know? Uh, and this guy also, uh, Zach Robinson, the Rams offensive, uh, the uh, pass game coordinator who could be the next Steelers offensive coordinator, is also going to interview for coordinator jobs with the uh, Saints, the Bears, and the Patriots. So 37, a little younger. You yeah. know, been, a, been in a good system. Dude, 37, but five years under Sean McVay be, out in L.A. for the Rams. Might be nice. Rams had a good offense the yeah. like, past couple of years. The Rams were supposed to kind of suck this year with, you know, but uh -huh. they, they made the playoffs. Something they new, some, prob something fresh in here. Yeah. yeah, I like it. So that's, that's good that they're at least looking in that direction. Again, the uh, Steelers interviewing Rams pass game coordinator uh, Zach Robinson. And then, of course, you got the games. It's championship Sunday. Chiefs at Ravens, 3 p.m. on Sunday. Lions at 49ers, uh, 6.30 p.m. on uh, Sunday. All right, there was a new season of The Bachelor that premiered last night on ABC with uh, Joey is the guy's name. He's a tennis player, and he is the next Bachelor. The premiere was last night. That doesn't matter. We don't need to break down the women and all the things that – all we need to do is read some of the Facebook comments. We will get to brand new season of the Bachelor Facebook comments around 7.55 and your chance to win $1,000. Try to pay your bills around 9.10. It's Mikey and Bob. Pay your bills on 96.1 KISS. Mikey and Bob, it's the 96.1 KISS Morning Freak Show. Oscar nominations coming up in a little bit. Those will be on uh, ABC Good Morning America and streaming online this morning around 8.30. I'm sure it's going to be Oppenheimer and Killers of the Flower Moon and Barbie leading nominations. But, uh, yeah, Oscars will be in March. The nominations come out this morning around 8.30. It is Mikey and Bob, the 96.1 KISS Morning Freak Show. We got a new uh, Bachelor season. 
Season 28 of The Bachelor premiered on ABC with uh, with Joey, the tennis player. Mm -hmm. He met 32 women, then narrowed that down to 22. He kissed seven of them in the first night. <laughs> Two of them are also sisters. And listen, uh, there, a lot of people watch these shows. I think previously, like, if you kissed one one of the women in the first night, like, it was like, oh. Yeah, it was just like, oh, they picked them. <laughs> My guy is just, like, yeah. sampling it all. Yeah, so seven women he kissed, and then we read the Facebook comment section. Uh-oh. We are going to uh -oh. a very deep, dark uh -oh. place on the Internet. Yeah. It's time for 96 one kiss facebook comments facebook comments about joey the bachelor and his uh his first night there <laughs> kathy s only 25 minutes into watching and i already miss the wholesome golden bachelor oh, no the bachelor went from wholesome to wholesome <laughs> vicky r joey kissing every girl in the house night one uh. everyone's going to end up with herpes Genevieve S. Dear Joey, I have a niece who is single, and I think you look like a very nice man. Ma'am. Okay, Aunt Genevieve, he's going to see this and cancel the show because your niece in the Facebook comment section. <laughs> My God. This is a dating site, ma'am. How, how is that, how is that person? How is that person real? <laughs> dear, dear, I have a niece. Dear Joey, I have a niece. Cute. Okay, he's got like 32 gorgeous women in a house that all want him. Okay? On, on a TV show that filmed months ago. Yeah. Autumn A, Joey might not find love, but I guarantee he's going to find an STD this oh season. I've got my chocolate. Okay. I've got my soda. All right. This is my NFL playoffs. Oh, please leave me the hell alone. I love it. I, I, love, I love the ones who just are all in on these shows, you know? She just, just runs to her front door and pulls a Jason Kelsey. <laughs> just yelling out the front door topless. <laughs> ah! <laughs> These are my playoffs, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica B. in the back for Facebook comments. The way he looks at every one of these women, I would have been pregnant night one. <laughs> Michelle M., is this the season where... It's just going to be wild. I don't know. Love making it at all times. It seems like it might be the opposite of the wholesome Golden Bachelor, it's about right? To be nasty. Yeah. They they did the Golden Bachelor with some of the older folks, and now it's like, hey, let's remember where we came from. I got now. my chocolates, and I'm ready. Let's get nasty. <laughs> Michelle M., I said I was done watching this crap TV, uh -huh. but here I am. Half a bottle of wine in, planning Joey's wedding with the Christmas tree farm gal, Daisy. I love that. It's like, I, I said, oh, I'm done. done. Half a bottle of wine in, though, and oh, love is real. <laughs> Danielle M. grew up down the block from those Philly sisters that are on the show. Uh -oh. They are trash bags. Joey, you better send them home. And we'll end here. Leslie B., I'd rather pour hot sauce in my eyes than watch this crap. I don't like no whips and chains and you can't tie me down. It's uh, Mikey and Bob, the 96-1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. What, what are you watching over there? <laughs> Bears eating tiny donuts? Like little Hostess donuts? The mini ones? Why, why not full-size donuts? I don't know. Why not? Okay, like what are Somebody's the... Somebody's hand-feeding bears like out, outdoor grizzlies or whatever they are. Black bears. Yeah. Just tiny donuts, and I'm watching it. You shouldn't feed bears donuts. They're so happy, though. Well, of course they're happy. They're, they're eating right out, re eat right out of this person's hand. That's not. You're watching unsanctioned bear feeding is what you're watching. <laughs> it's you're, a you're, big fat one at the end. Oh, oh loves man. It. Loves the donuts. Fat donut or fat bear? Fat, fat bear. Okay, so the donuts are tiny, but the bears are fat, right? Yeah, hell it. yeah. My favorite. I, I don't know where you go during the show because you don't tell me these places. All of a sudden, <laughs> you'll just be sitting across from me, and you'll just start giggling. And I'll be like, what? Watching bears eat tiny donuts. Okay. All right, Bob. Look how magical, man. All right. How do you not smile like that? No. Okay. All right. right. Bears eating donuts. That's, All right. Right. that's unsanctioned. Yeah. No, you shouldn't not, feed. No, that's not unsanctioned treats there. You should not be feeding bears like that. Oh, they love the donuts. They do. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, they would just eat. They would be just as happy eating trash, though. 
my God, this person's feeding like three different babies, petting the bears. He's got all the bears. All right, this is, no, we shouldn't even be talking about this now. Somebody's going to try to feed a bear donuts around here, and they're going to get their face ripped off or something. They're going to be like, Mike and Bob told me we could feed the bears little donuts. All right, let's check in uh, over in Italy now. Wonderful listener over there named Ellie who listens to the podcast. She's originally from here, but is in Italy now. Hi, boys. This is Ellie in Italy, your poop friend. Yeah, she calls herself our poop friend, though, because she's got good poop stories. I am really sorry to hear about your cat. Um, Thank you. I hope that, you know, you can remember all the happy times with her. Yeah. Um, Again, I know it's hard to transition from that, but I wanted to say that I was talking to my best friend from Pittsburgh today about how... um, you know, you guys talked about the fact that I sleep with the stuffed Pomeranian and that yeah. there's lots of other people who sleep with teddy bears or your wife has bear bear. Yeah, this was a whole thing on the show. We were talking about, you know, uh, grown adults sleeping with, you know, like a stuffed animal. And I said, my wife, Jamie, like bear bear is part of our family. One of her teddy bears from when she was growing up, mm-hmm. she still sleeps with it every night. It's bear bear. You know, it's cool that you can you know, share these things on the radio. And she. Come on, <laughs> Ellie. Is that really? <laughs> is that really what our show is about? Is that how you can sum up our show? Just like, yeah, it's, it's a place where weird people are welcome. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It yeah. Is. All right. So thanks, guys, for keeping it weird and keeping it all together for Pittsburgh. All right. Well, we appreciate the uh, the nice message there, Ellie in Italy. And also, uh, say hi to your friend. We appreciate your friend, too, for summing up our entire radio show as this. It's a great way for people to find other people <laughs> that are weird like them or even weirder than they are. It is. It's a great way for people that connect with our show. It's uh-huh. a great way for you to connect with other weird people <laughs> or just go, well, I'm not that weird, <laughs> right? So I must be somewhat normal. All right. We got your chance to win a thousand dollars. We want to try to pay your bills this morning. Be listening around nine ten for your nationwide keyword to enter on our website. That's coming up. It's Mikey and Bob. Nine six one kid. The Mikey and Bob. I'm <laughs> Thank you, Bob. It is the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Cloudy today. We'll deal with some rain. There is uh, some schools a lot north of the city that are having some two-hour delays because of the icy roadways that are happening out there this morning with some rain, and then that freezes. So uh, that could be a thing throughout the day. Just be careful out there on the uh, roads. Uh, always people getting naked, getting arrested, and making the news mm. and making our show. It is time for a naked story. Here we go. Wow. Someone decided to get naked. It's time for another naked story on the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show with Mikey and Big Bad. Uh, We go to Sweetwater, Tennessee for Mm. this story. Sweet, sweet. A 50-year-old woman was arrested and charged with indecent exposure and disorderly conduct, according to police. Uh, They responded to a call at the Economy Inn about an unwanted person in a motel room. The officer said... He uh, saw a man sitting in his truck Mm -hmm. who said that a woman he did not know walked into his motel room while the door was open and asked to get warm because she had been locked out of her room. The man allowed her to enter his room. Nice guy. Then she allegedly disrobed and invited him into the shower. Oh, man. That's what you get, man. You can't allow just a strange person (laughs) into your hotel room. They're going to get naked, right? You know, they're walking Uh, and inviting you in. He then left the room and called police. When an officer got to the room and asked her to leave, they discovered that the bathroom door was locked. And then they knocked and asked her to get dressed and leave. But according to the officer, she, she allegedly invited it, uh, him in to join her in the shower. All right, so room for one more when the cops in. show up, right? Room for one more, officer. Come uh, on in. She then declined. The water's when, hot. When the woman finally came out of the room, the officer said that she wrapped herself in a blanket, then walked out to the hotel's parking lot, dropped the blanket. So now she's naked in the hotel parking lot, right? <laughs> yeah. She has gone for She was walking the hall, uh-huh. got into this guy's room because he let her. Why would you do that? I mean, that's the first wrong move right there, letting strange person into your hotel room you, you like think that. You'd be like, go, just go to the front desk if you lost your key. Yeah, or like, I want to get, I, I need to get warm. Like, get warm. We're all in the, ho- the, the, the hallway's just as warm as, no, that's not, that's not true. Because hotel room uh, temperatures, man, all over the place. It's true. Like, 
the hotel room AC or the heat is like five times as aggressive as it is anywhere else. Like you turn on the air conditioning in a nicer hotel room, mm-hmm. maybe, or just, I don't know, every hotel room, it seems like. That thing is just blowing the coldest air. Maybe she was just trying to heat it up a little hotter. Maybe. <laughs> Take these clothes off and get a shower. She just wants a shower with a friend. That's it. She wants to warm up. But Somebody's she... got to watch this back. She needs a shower, Stop buddy. watching itself. She doesn't care if it's a police officer. So she's out in the parking lot. She's naked. She dropped the blanket that she was uh, covered oh, up in. Full presentation. So everybody was gathered around because there was, you know, police show up. Everybody's, what's going on? And there's just <laughs> naked lady in the parking lot who was denied twice to, uh, you know, have a friend shower with her. One, a police officer. Maybe she was clean. Yeah, she was clean and naked. And also, she went to jail. Uh, it is a naked person making the show once again. Bonnaroo Music and Arts Festival returns June 13th through the 16th. And 961 Kiss wants to send you and a pal to the farm in Manchester, Tennessee. You'll see performances from Post Malone. <laughs> Red Hot Chili Peppers, Fred Again, Megan Thee Stallion, and more. All you have to do is submit a talk back to 961 Kiss on our free iHeartRadio app. Tell us why you want to go to Bonnaroo for your chance to win tickets and camping passes. Visit 961kiss.com for more details and head to Bonnaroo.com to grab your tickets now. Mikey and Bob, it's the 961 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Vote for your favorites for our iHeartRadio Music Awards. That's going to air on Fox and right here on 961 Kiss on April. April 1st, you can vote for TikTok Bop of the Year, Best Fan Army, Best Lyrics, and a lot more at iHeartRadio.com slash awards. Also on our free iHeartRadio app, you can hit the talk back microphone and send us messages. Let's get to this. What's up, Method of Human Number Tennis Show Mothman again? I uh I've actually haven't really been listening to the show much the last couple of weeks. Went through a rough break I haven't been in the best of months yet, but that being said, I was uh, fortunate enough to hear today about Mikey. And, man, I am so, so sorry, man. My boy Apollo, I mean, he's like my child. I, can only, I can't even imagine that coming out of nowhere. I'm so sorry. Just know we all love you, man. Yeah, we had our, uh, our family cat pass over the weekend. I appreciate all the nice messages that people have been sending, whether it's on the show or just, you know, social media. Mm-hmm. It, uh, whenever something happens... Uh, like this to me or Bob, it's, you know, we, we get overwhelming support for the city and it's uh, it, it's a pretty cool thing. All right, let's get on to a completely different message that has nothing to do with my dead family cat. Hey guys, me and my wife were just having a conversation and I thought that you guys would be the go-to guys to figure this out. Okay, um, <laughs> all right, here we go. Do you think it's kind of weird, like, yeah. farting naked? <laughs> can you trust, can you trust that? <laughs> Do you need a trust barrier? Uh, we're the guys. guys. <laughs> we're the guys. Why are we the guys? We're the guys. We the are guys? the guys. No, we are the guys. <laughs> uh, can you trust a naked fart, Bob? I love that him and his wife were sitting around just like, who can we ask about this? Yeah, but what are they arguing about? Does one of them think you can trust a naked fart and the other one's like, I don't fart without a piece of, of, of uh, you know, Clothing well, there. Your butt fabric. doesn't know there's fabric there. I think you can trust the naked fart no, just as much as no. regular See, no. clothes fart. I think you're completely wrong. No, do you know what the most da- do you know what the most dangerous fart is? Shower fart. Why is that dangerous? Why is it dangerous? I don't know. It smells worse. Well, yeah, it smells worse. But like I, heat and steam. I think we've looked it up before. Yeah. Yeah. We we well we looked up why farts smell worse in the shower, mm-hmm. and it's because there's no there's no pants, there's no underwear, there's nothing there stopping the smell. Yeah. In sort of. You know, whether we want to think about this or not. There's no danger involved. Our our underwear, our pants, our shorts, whatever we're wearing is the filter for our farts, right? (laughs) And it it makes the farts not quite as stinky. So Maybe that's we why. are that guys to go to. Oh my God, we are. We're 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 exactly the guys to be asking this about. (laughs) He's right. He's right. I'll fart wherever, whenever. I clothes, know, no clothes. No, but there's da- there's I'm more. Not scared. But there's more dangerous farts than like I would trust a regular fart with my pants on because I think I'm gonna treat that fart differently. I trust my body. Then okay, there's nothing more dangerous than a shower fart though. I know it smells worse, but there's just something about being in the shower 
and then you just you think it's safe and you, there's nothing stopping it what, at all. What's happened to you, man? What, what have you done in the shower before? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Just trying to answer. You're, you seem like you're speaking from experience. Just trying to answer your mm -hmm. question, man. Mm -hmm. uh, I think farts are worse if you're naked. Yeah, they smell. They smell worse. They they can't be trusted. You, let's put it this simple, okay? You trust a fart with your clothes on mm -hmm. more than you trust a naked fart. Yes or no? I, I think they're pretty equal. I mean, I don't walk around naked. Okay. Very right. often, but yeah. We were the guys to ask about this then, because I'm saying you don't trust a fart naked like you trust a fart with pants on. I don't need to use as much caution. Why are we, why are we talking about I this? I trust my body. Why are we, more than, why are we than talking about clothes? Pants? I don't know. Okay, maybe I don't trust my body then, because I think if we look at the scoreboard on the accidents <laughs> that we've all had, <laughs> scoreboard says, I think, I think I'm definitely in the lead ring -a -ding -ding. as an adult who has had an accident in his pants if we're doing me versus you head to head matchup. <laughs> maybe that's why I'm a little bit more cautious. <laughs> And don't trust naked farts like you do. All right. We have a chance for you to win $1,000. We want to pay your bills. That's coming up around 9, 10. It's Mikey and Bob. 96 on kids. The Mikey and Bob podcast. Okay. Hold on. Everyone went to school with a kid that could burp like that. You're right. Every one of us did. Stream the Mikey and Bob podcast on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts. Mikey and Bob, it is the 961 Kiss Morning Freak Show. You can send us messages through our free iHeartRadio app when you're streaming the station or our Mikey and Bob podcast. Let's get to this. Hi, guys. Okay, so this is not a huge deal. Still love you, no issues. Okay. But if you can change this, that'd be really cool. So on the iHeartRadio app, when I listen live, there's these repeated commercials every day, um, also times a day, about the party pods starting this weekend and about how it's Memorial what? Day. And just like oh. COVID commercials, they're just like really out of date and old. Yeah. And I don't know if you can change that or if you even know about it. So I just want to give you a heads up. Still love you. And let's go pan. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. We know about it because people have complained about it. Yeah. Recently. We, we've we emailed about it. I think maybe three weeks ago, we sent an email to our yeah. boss. And it's just like, hey, there's a bunch of old stuff playing on the radio station. Can you figure it out? Because people are really complaining because they're sick of hearing Memorial Day promos in january eh, they're still running yeah i don't, I don't know yeah yeah <laughs> i think he reached out to somebody else they don't know what's yeah i don't know yeah uh oscar nominations yeah. are uh coming out they are milking it by the way on good morning america like I, they've been doing it for like half hour it seems like now right i feel so, like it's a lot of like what you said though it's barbie it's oppenheimer yeah killers of the flower killers moon of those the are gonna be moon, the three yeah. big movies i think um but original song Two Barbie movies uh, soundtrack songs are nominated. I'm Just Ken is now nominated for an Oscar. That might win, right? Like, that might be the... They might give most... That might be the sneaky one. That they, just, yeah. yeah they, got it. I mean, Barbie's... I don't think Barbie's going to win, like, Best Picture. I think it's probably going to be Oppenheimer or Killers of the Flower Moon. And, uh, you know, director is going to go to one of those. And, you know, it, Christopher Nolan or Martin Scorsese. I don't think there is. Uh, I don't think Greta is going to win that one for for Barbie. So I think a lot of these Barbie awards that Barbie might win some other year. You know, they're going to go in a more serious route and give it to uh, you know Killers of the Flower Moon or Oppenheimer. But original song, I don't know. I'm just Ken might be the Barbie's time to shine. Yeah, that might be the fun one they give to Barbie. But also, I'm just Ken. Is that even the best song in the Barbie movie? Because Billie Eilish, What Was I Made For, is yeah. also nominated, too. So you got two Barbie heavy hitters going at each other. But then, you know, like the song from Killers of the Flower Moon is there's a lot of other songs that might not be by bigger, more famous artists. Billie that, won Golden Globe, right? Yeah. Did she? Yeah. Yeah. yeah what yeah. was I made yeah, for? Yeah, yeah, she won the she won the Golden yeah. Globe for it. Has she won an Oscar before for uh, Song of the Moon? I don't know. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, 
Uh, if you're a fan of Barbie, just know that there's two Barbie songs up for original song. I'm just Ken, and what was I made for? And again, Oscar nominations are coming out uh, this morning and as we speak, so you can go online for all of those. Coming up next, we got your chance to win a thousand dollars. Try to pay your bills here on the Kiss Morning Freak Show. It's Mikey and Bob. It's Mikey and Bob, the 96.1 Kiss Morning Free Show. If you don't catch all the live show, no worries. Our Mikey and Bob podcast is available on our free iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcast. Let's get to this. We're all going to learn something together right now. It's time to find out why the hell is this trending with Mikey and Bob. All right. Now, I know there are some people who might listen to our show that like professional wrestling and the WWE and there are some people who are just thinking that, like, why, why, who watches wrestling? But this deal that just got announced this morning is so massive. The WWE and Netflix are trending. Bob, what are the details on this? Uh, yeah, WWE is moving their, uh, their show Monday Night Raw over to Netflix. Monday Night Raw has been on the USA Network for, like, ever. Like, decades and decades, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be a 10-year deal. Valued at more than $5 billion, they're saying. Oh, my gosh. So the WWE is going through some changes. Friday Night SmackDown is going to go from Fox to, like, NBC and Peacock. But Monday Night Raw, which is a big WWE property, is going to be streaming on Netflix. Their biggest, yeah, their biggest property. Starting in 2025, right? It says it'll open it up to 250 million global Netflix yeah. users too. So that, yeah, that's another reason why they're doing this. So yeah, next starting next year, it might be sooner than that. We'll see how it plays out. But starting next year. If you want to watch some, you know, WWE content, you're going to have to be paying for Netflix, which some people already pay for Peacock, because that is currently where some of the WWE uh, material lives, right? Mm -hmm. But what the WWE is trying to do is exactly what the NFL is doing. They're just like, we're so big. Spread it out. And we have all these streaming services that are looking for not just programming anymore, live programming that people will care about. All these streamers are like, yeah, we got the libraries built up now, mm -hmm. but how do we destroy live TV for good? Will we start stealing the live events? So obviously a massive deal for the WWE and Netflix starting next year. Uh, Monday Night Raw will be on uh, Netflix. Also, Mr. Beast is trending. Mr. Beast obviously uh, basically just is the biggest YouTuber. He, he really is. Most followed individual creator on YouTube with over 230 million subscribers, and that number just keeps going up. Now he is nearing a deal for a reality show on Amazon Prime Video. Again, this is another streaming service just looking for content. I mean, the YouTube videos Mr. Beast, does, Mr. Beast does like independently are, are yeah probably higher production quality than what most streaming services have at this point. Yeah, he did that uh, you know Squid Game parody video that had just insane numbers, mm -hmm. and he always does big money giveaways and stuff, and you know different stunts and everything. Mr. Beast is the internet, you know, mm -hmm. he is the internet, and now Amazon's like, hey. Who can we throw money at? Everybody is in a race right now for content. Netflix is like, we got Monday Night Raw. What are you going to do now? And then it looks like Amazon Prime is going to try to get a Mr. Beast show uh, going up. Uh, they don't know the title of the show yet, but the idea is Mr. Beast is going to host some sort of show for Amazon Prime Video, which will sort of follow what his YouTube uh, videos mm -hmm. are. But, like, he's not going to stop making YouTube videos or anything like that. And I'm sure he's going to have a deal where it's like, hey, I'm going to keep doing my thing over on YouTube because right. that's where this all started and everything like that. But I'll throw you a couple videos here and there. I'm sure they'll still be on his YouTube channel, but um, it's it's an arms race right now with all of the streaming services and and content. Like everybody wants to grab the content right now and have the biggest content under their tent. So Netflix snatches up WWE Monday Night Raw, and it looks like Amazon Prime Video is trying to snatch up a Mr. Beast show, which I enjoy Mr. Beast and a lot of the things he does, but. I don't know if anybody's going to be like, ah, got to subscribe to Amazon because I feel like he'll never give up his YouTube channel, right? 
Like, no, I, I yeah, feel you're probably like right. it won't be exclusive right. stuff on Amazon Prime Video. Like, why would I go to Amazon Prime Video to stop watching his stuff on YouTube? Unless it's going to be exclusive stuff there. But Interactive stuff. I don't know if that's going to be enough to, like, really move. The, but, you know, we'll see. Because Mr. Beast, again, most subscribed individual person on YouTube. That's kind of a big deal. And a guy that you would want for the... You know, streaming wars, which are obviously underway now. All right, here is your chance to win a thousand dollars. Good luck. Pay your bills on 96.1 Kiss. Like you, Bob. It is the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Uh, the Steelers are reportedly interviewing the Los Angeles Rams pass game coordinator, Zach Robinson, Hell for yeah. the open offensive coordinator job. He's 37 years old. Just, uh, got done with his fifth season, uh, as the, uh, as part of the Rams staff under head coach, Sean McVay. He's also interviewing with the Saints, the Bears and the Patriots. So I don't really know anything about the guy, but the Rams got a pretty good offense and have for, you know, past few years. He's been working there for five years. I'd be cool with that. I don't really know much about the guy, but that's different. You know, a little mystery to them. Bring in somebody in their uh, 30s who's been, you know, dealing with the Rams and their offense. Yeah, sure. Why not? Sign them up. Uh, the Penguins lost to the Coyotes last night. That game stunk. 5-2, to two, their first loss in Arizona since 2017. Sid with another goal. He's got 27. There was an own goal where Latang passed it back to Gino once Jari was already pulled. And then, whoops-a-daisy, it ends up, ends up in the uh, Penguins' net. So, um, yeah, it was a bad loss for the Penguins, 5-2, to two, a stuffed animal. My wife, Jamie, uh, sleeps with Bear Bear, her stuffed teddy bear that she's had since she was younger. Bear Bear is a part of our family, even goes on vacation with us. So let's get to this message. Hi, Mikey and Bob. Um, I was listening when you were talking about grown adults sleeping with stuffed animals. Yeah. And I am almost 30, and I still sleep with this little penguin, and I got him at a penguin game, and his name is... Yeah, it can't be that, right? Stuffed penguin at a penguin game? Okay, what's, what's the name? What's the name going to be, though? <laughs> what's, what's the name going to be? You see, after no. the great you see Jokinen, oh, he used to play oh, through penguins see. for, like, yeah. a hot second, and then yeah. was gone. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. But yeah, have a good day. Bye. All right, you see the penguin. She has a stuffed you see <laughs> penguin named after you see Jokinen, who played for the penguins for a couple years, right? Are we are we doing this naming random uh, stuffed animals after <laughs> random penguins <laughs> players? You want to play this game? Yeah, I got a uh, stuffed Ziggy Palfy stuffed puppy. Oh, I got a five foot tall stuffed bear named Gonchar. I got a Rob Scuderi stuffed, stuffed seal. Benetinko, the fluffy buddy. Peter Sakura stuffed snake. I got a stuffed wiener dog named Marty Straka. I got a Yarku, Yarku Rutu <laughs> stuffed rhino. I got a Ty Conklin stuffed cat. Dude, Ty Conklin. Ty Conklin. Ty Conklin. Backup Put goalie. him in the net. Backup goalie for, was he the backup for the Winter Classic in Buffalo? Was he? I believe that was Ty Conklin time there. Wow. Yeah. I got a Mark Eaton stuffed elephant. Dude, Mark Eaton. Remember that guy? Mark Eaton stuffed elephant. Got any more? I got a pound puppy named after Rob Scuderi. Call him Scudge. No, oh, you lost. I already used Rob Scuderi. Did you? Ah, oh, damn. I got a full size stuffed Ron Tugnut. <laughs> That's it. Just a stuffed Tugnut? It's no animal. It's just like a six foot tall Tugnut. It's stuffed and you can give it a hug and everything like that. Stuffed Ron Tugnut. <laughs> So, yeah, Penguins will be back at it Friday at home against the Florida Panthers. Pay your bills on 96.1 KISS. It was our last night. Roads might be a little slick out there today because we are getting some rain through the afternoon. Could lead to some icy conditions as the high is going to be around uh, 40 degrees today. We're going to get highs in the 50s later this week. Though, right? 55, hey, yeah. Hey, all right, rip them pants off. Mm. Uh, let's get to this message. Ralph, Jerome. Yeah, we love those nicknames because uh, my middle name is Ralph. Bob's middle name is Jerome. We are not lying about that. Uh, they, it sort of sounds made up, but that's our real middle names, Ralph and Jerome. Did you hear the news about WWE Raw? I know Bob. 
loves wrestling and oh, yeah. Mikey, mm-hmm. you're all right about it. <laughs> but wow, moving to Netflix, yeah. five billion dollars. Yeah. Damn, that's a lot of money. Yeah, it's kind of a big deal. We were talking about that earlier. A bunch of WWE stuff is trending because Monday Night Raw, you know, their flagship show that's been on for decades is moving to Netflix next year. And it's I think it's more of a global thing for WWE, too. They're, you know, with... I think it works out for them and Netflix. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Oscar nominations came out uh, a little bit ago. Uh, let's get to this message. Now, I must say, if she's still listening to the show, when you send us a talkback message, if you can, please turn your radio down because you're going to hear us talking in the background of her message because she was listening to the show a little bit ago. Oh, it's going to be just Ken because it is so sexy and so funny and so good. If you haven't seen it. You should know it's going to be number one. All right, it's going to be number one. Uh, she is talking about I'm Just Ken, which we said a little bit ago was nominated for an, You like that? That tickled you a little I bit. I love that she went from the talk back and just joined the conversation. Yeah, just, oh, it's going to be yeah, so sexy. Just Ken because it is so sexy. <laughs> so, sexy. <laughs> so sexy. So sexy. Yeah, I'm Just Ken and What Was I Made For by Billie Eilish are both nominated for Oscars. The Oscar nominations uh, came out early. Earlier uh, this morning, uh, I know that a lot of people just go right to the snubs, and this is obviously two glaring ones here. I don't think the Academy really celebrated Barbie like others did. Margot Robbie did not get a leading actress nomination for Barbie, and Greta Gerwig did not get an Oscar nomination for Best Director. Barbie, for Barbie. snubs. Double Barbie snub there. But Uncalled for. There's two in original song. I'm just Ken. So sexy. And what was I made for by Billie Eilish? Uh, Lily Gladstone, this is awesome, is the first Native American acting nominee who hails from people indigenous to the land now occupied by the United States. So uh, she's going to win. Uh, that one, it feels like a shoe in for me. If you haven't seen Killers of the Flower Moon, I feel like she's going to win. Also, if you saw the movie May, December, not great for Oscar nominations. Natalie Portman, uh, Julianne Moore, Charles Melton, all snubbed by the Academy for their Oscars. I've never and even then, heard of that movie. Uh, well, you haven't heard many of these. You you aren't. See, I, I feel like I'm the average person. You're I, telling me yes. things I've never even heard of. No, I do believe that you're the average person. I feel like the average person has seen a Barbie, seen an Oppenheimer, maybe Killers of the Flower Moon, but I think you got to dive deep into it. But I also think that when Oscar season starts up, like I saw Maestro. With uh, Bradley Cooper, mm. just because it was going to be nominated for a bunch. It was nominated for Golden Globes. And I'm like, all right, let me check this out. Is it sexy? I think. Oh, not as sexy as I'm just Ken. Are you kidding <laughs> me? Nanny, so crazy. sexy. Are you kidding me? Just Ken because it is so sexy. So sexy. <laughs> Uh, Best Picture nominees at the Oscars, Killers of the Flower Moon, Oppenheimer, Poor Things, The Holdovers, Barbie, American Fiction, Past Lives, Maestro, Anatomy of a Fall, in the Zone of Interest. I've seen two? Two of them. No, three. I've seen three of those. Yeah, Killers of the Flower Moon was awesome. Barbie was awesome. Maestro was uh, pretty good, too. Wouldn't be surprised if Bradley Cooper wins that uh, Best Actor Award for uh, for Maestro, because he was uh, sexy. He was great. No, he wasn't quite quite as sexy as I'm Just Ken, though. Just Ken, because it is so sexy. So the Oscar nominations are out, and uh, the Oscars will air March 10th. uh, Jimmy Kimmel hosting on ABC. So sexy. The Mikey and Bob podcast. There's book smarts, there's like street smarts, and then there's a completely different kind of thing that we teach people here somehow. <laughs> and a degree in Mikey and Bob smarts will get you a job nowhere. No. Stream the Mikey and Bob podcast on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts. Amen. Mikey and Bob, it is the 96 1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Uh, Jason sent us a message here. Or the shower fart conversation uh, a little bit ago on the show, and I can say from experience, that is the most dangerous fart. One minute you're trusting a fart, the next you have a story to tell for the next 16 years. <laughs> it's a good way to describe it. Is, is that that bad, though, if you have a good story to tell for the next 16 years? You know, I feel like it's not that bad. Not that bad. Could be, could be worse. Could be worse than trusting a fart in the shower? Yeah. 
Well, yeah, you could trust you could fart in your pants. pants yeah. yeah, yeah, you could do that. All right, this has been a great end of the show here. <laughs> we really found a way to put a, put a bow on it here. Uh, 12 more chances throughout the day for you to try to win uh, $1,000. We want to continue to try to pay your bills. Listen, 10 after every hour through 9 p.m. for that nationwide keyword. Enter it on our website, and you could win $1,000. What were you just laughing at over there? What are you watching? Uh, earlier, you were watching... Uh, grizzly bears being fed little tiny donuts, and that was making you giggle. What What are you giggling at over there now? Uh, yeah, Voldemort uh, dubovers in different languages laughing. Okay, like Voldemort, like Harry Potter movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. laughing in different languages like the dubovers for it. So There's a whole collection of them. So it's it's obviously the Harry Potter movies come in every language, right? right? Yeah, Mostly worldwide. every language. Yeah, absolutely. Worldwide phenomenon. Uh-huh. So... You're telling me, like, some sicko's done like the, the homework here and collected, like, ten of them. So, like, Japanese yeah. Harry Potter, the Voldemort laugh yeah, yeah. is different than... Russian, our... Italian, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on, let me just... So, this is a collection of Voldemort <laughs>, laughs in different languages? Yeah. From the Harry Potter movies. <laughs> Okay, this can't, this can't. Is this what you're watching over there as we're trying to wrap the show up? Like, <laughs> that's not Voldemort. That's such a good that's laugh. Not Voldemort. <laughs> not Voldemort. <laughs> Who's that? That ain't Voldemort. <laughs> that ain't Voldemort. <laughs> Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what the hell was that clown doing in there? Hey, hey, hey. What language is that even supposed to be? <laughs> okay, that is not the, the Dark Lord right there. That's not the Dark Prince or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. What is that? <laughs> I can't believe we're really ending the show today with Voldemort laughing in different languages. Oh. <laughs> Good to know that that's what you're doing over there. Yeah, I get distracted real easy. (laughs) Real easy. Two things distracted you today. Voldemort laughing in different languages Uh and uh, grizzly bears being fed tiny donuts. If you're just wondering how focused Bob is. (laughs) You know what, though, Bob? Good for you, because we talked about both of them on the show, so it's all content. Even when you do your own side content over there and are just laughing while I try to keep the show on the rails, and all of a sudden I just hear from over at Bob's computer, Hey, what are you looking over at there, Bob? Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Just Voldemort laughing in different languages. Uh, all right, Bob, before we get out of here, what would you like to name the podcast oh. today? 65 Stanley Cups full of giraffe milk. <laughs> All right, that, that'll be the name of the podcast today. Get caught up on our free iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcast. And remember, 12 more chances for us to pay your bills. Uh, your next chance coming up in about 10 minutes during the Ryan Seacrest Show. That's it for us. Talk to you later, everybody. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Let's go.